It is yet another slice. Hey, this is Chris, and I'm talking to you from Siberia, um, from the hotel room. I have, uh, yeah, um, we have, as a group, we have uh, taken a flight on S7 Airlines from Moscow to Irkutsk in Siberia, right north of Lake Baikal, the biggest liquid freshwater um, source on the planet. I think it it holds about 20% of the world's non-frozen fresh water and it is so amazing that I'm here for the third time and uh, we're here with um well with the help of Anton who is our organizer uh he drives us uh, we have several vehicles um so he's our head driver and or organizer and outright amazing person who yeah makes all this possible for us and uh, he knows everyone and he has set up everything and he knows photographers so he uh, he takes us to places that yeah are <laughs> it's, it's hard to explain i will i will show photos but it is kind of mind-boggling so yeah we have arrived we have uh unloaded uh in hotel uh first night um, the, the the accommodation around Lake Baikal, in especially in the smaller villages, we'll stay in some places is um, is decent, but not really like luxury, because that's not what the Siberians do. But the first night we're staying in the Irkutsk uh, Marriott, so as a bit of a treat and to kind of settle in. So the first day um, is. Uh, a, a bit of a we yeah, have just a city tour to see some of the cathedrals and some of the landmarks and uh, to just get a bit of a better idea about the Russian culture and uh, and the Russian food because of course we are going to be fed well here. Um, I I love what they do here. So yeah, it's it's um, pretty much the first day and everyone has to acclimatize a bit. Uh, there's a time zone shift for everyone. So, um, yeah, we're taking it easy for the first day. And then tomorrow we'll take off to the lake and, uh, yeah, we'll be driving on the ice for the first time. So we've just left the land and we have just entered the lake we've just uh, rolled onto Lake Baikal and it's uh, beautiful it's sunny and I'm just leaving the snow here and making my way onto the ice and it is just mind-blowingly clear here it's almost <laughs> I'm, I'm almost whispering because it is just so I don't know it's almost like a a sacred moment here um, just very little wind the temperature is a uh, minus 15 Celsius so uh, it's quite a bit below freezing but it's not really bad and it's a very dry cold so it doesn't really doesn't really bother anyone and uh, yeah first stop on the ice there's some beautiful ice caves right at at the at the edge here on an island there's like big rocks just sticking out of the ice and uh, icicles hanging off of those rocks where where the wind has uh, whipped up some off the water and yeah the rest is frozen i would say huh, it's probably four or five foot thick ice i'm on it's clear i can look through it i can see cracks because it's frozen in several layers but they're all like clear as glass so i can far under me probably 10 15 feet under me uh, i see the rocks on the ground clearly and yeah it's hard to describe <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do my best to put some photos online for you guys all right i'm continuing to explore i'm i'm uh, i've just managed to get a hold of Andy who um, was with me on the Moscow extension. So Andy, where are you from? I am from Skipback, Pennsylvania. And uh, you've been, you've never been to, to Russia before. I've never been to Russia. 
So Moscow. What's the f after after we now have uh, done this extension in Moscow? What are the first three things that come into your mind? First is uh, how much similar it is to a lot of other major cities in the world: New York, Paris, it's a, London. Because it's a big city, and some of the architecture is ripped straight from New York. Mm -hmm. I mean, some of these buildings they call them the Seven Sisters are are very reminiscent of like things like the Chrysler Building and stuff. Yeah, a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. Saw so new new construction, old mm -hmm. construction, dilapidated construction. Yeah. So for, that was the first thing. What's the second thing that that you remember? A lot of hardworking people shuffling about, and then the subway system. That's, you know, that's quite something. The subway, huh? all the people and the great stations yeah. and the efficiency. M M Moscow Metro is. Well, the stations, the beautiful stations, um, especially the Circle Line has these Im impressive things, and then it runs every two minutes. Yeah, on time, all over the city. We got everywhere without any problem, back and forth to two different airports. It was really impressive. Cool. Um, oh, now we have left Moscow. We have come to Lake Baikal, to Siberia. Um, what's your first impression here? The city of Irkutsk was much bigger than expected. People very nice, very impressed by the mixed culture. A lot like uh, I spent some time in Winnipeg and Manitoba, Canada, and reminded me a lot of that. What do you think of the lake itself? We're on top of the lake right now. Uh, as I said before, it's a surreal experience. <laughs> I've been out on frozen lakes in northern New York, and uh, I've seen some nice pressure cracks in my day, but nothing compared to what I'm looking at right now. So it's too bad the microphone doesn't really pick up the sounds the ice makes because as we speak in the background, some cracks are forming in the distance. So the Now we're here in the afternoon and the sun's coming through these cracks on an angle and it's just, uh, there's shapes and reflections that uh, unlike anything I've ever seen. And I haven't seen that many photographers drop to their bellies on purpose this quickly because everyone wants to get close into the action. Uh, every turn you see something yeah. unique in the uh, in an ice formation, in a crack, something. It uh, never ends. All right. Thank you, Andy. So uh, let's continue, explore some of this, of this beauty of the lake. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I, I've recorded this with Andy um, just a, like, a couple of days ago when we first went on the ice for the very first time. It's really very fresh impression. And uh, yeah, now we have a, a couple of days um, on the ice already. And I, um, I'm going to try to get some more impressions from some of the others on the tour because uh, for the last two days we've had smiling faces left and right because this is like, yeah, it, it is very diverse. The ice is diverse. The ice is... Uh, is is so different from what everyone expected and I I will try to capture some of that. <sighs> it's, uh, it's eight o'clock in the morning. I'm out on the lake. Getting up at seven is is hard <laughs> but um yeah we uh We're doing a bit of a sunrise shoot. Well, we as in everyone on the group um, on their own because we didn't know who wanted to sleep in and who didn't. But yeah, sun is uh, coming up around 8, 8 or 5 right now. So it's actually okay. I mean, I've been to other places where the sun was up so much earlier. But uh, yeah, the sunrise is great. And um, we are staying in the Fregat Hotel at Olchon Island, which is Uh, like this series of bungalows and it's this little tip of the island is so where we stay is surrounded by the lake so you walk out <laughs> and it's like two minutes down to the lake and then you're on the lake and here is some really nice black eyes with uh, some methane bubbles so I will try to capture some of those in the foreground with the sun rising behind um, there's also snow on the ice you can you can hear that um so it's the, the mixture between that and and now I'm on the ice right next to the snow. So there's this amazing variety of textures and uh, yeah, I'm 
do my best to <laughs> to capture some of that. I'm still tired though. <sighs> I am I am uh, smiling so I have such a big smile on my oh <laughs> I just ran with my head into an icicle. Okay, so I'm in, a, in an ice cave here right now. There's uh, Olhon Island, which is a island in, the biggest island on Lake Baikal, or in Lake Baikal. And we just drove over here and uh, on the way we stopped at different ice caves. And these ice caves, um, okay, so they come into existence when when everything freezes, but it's not quite frozen. So the rock is very cold and then storms whip the water against the rocks and this is this this creates these caves of different sizes that you can kind of slide into that are like f we're talking thousands and thousands of icicles hanging from above you pointing down at you at different sizes and it's a, it's pretty safe so um I'm not worried about anything here and just looking out of these caves, I will I will definitely have to share a few photos of this because it is mind-blowingly beautiful. And just standing here uh, looking at it, 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 the words do not make it justice. This is, uh, yeah, it's hard to describe. Even even a photo can't really give you the full the full uh, feeling of uh, what it this feels like when you stand here in the elements with these icicles but yeah let me take a few photos and uh, put them somewhere i think there'll probably be a link in the show notes where you can take a look yourself uh, okay i i have uh, I've, <laughs> I've been promising multiple times now to upload photos and uh, i am I'm, I'm going to do this they will end up on flickr f-l-i-c-k-r dot com slash nubui n-u-b-u-i that is uh, my old nickname there, flickr.com slash nubui. And uh, yeah, check that out. No promises because I'm... Uh, the, the, let's say the internet infrastructure out here isn't the best. So uh, I do have data. Uh, ha hooray for the eSIM. I found a package that I could install here. So I have some 3G every now and then. Uh, the hotel Wi-Fi here at the Fregat is... Uh, I'd say non not really exist in existence. It it pretends to be there, but it doesn't go out really. So the three G will have to do for now, and I am gonna do my best to upload some photos. So uh, yeah, just just check back there. Um, I'll, I'll put a link in the show notes, or actually Matt will put a link in the show notes because Matt is the person who takes care of the publishing. So I'm, all I can do here is record and edit on my iPhone. That's what I'm doing right now, and then. Uh, I'm sending this to Matt and Matt puts these slices online and uh, yeah so a big hand for Matt um, yeah this is uh, this is fun this is a lot of fun I hope you you're getting an idea um, again as I promised I will try to track down a few of the others and uh, get a few more voices on 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 one of the next slices um, that's it for now from Lake Baikal in Siberia uh, signing off till the next slide.